Hey guys, it's Jerusha. You're watching Jerusha to a TV. Tonight I am trying to film in my house. It is night time. I do have all of the lights on, so hopefully it's not too shaded and uh, dark that you can't see anything. This, as you can see above, is an unboxing. I was in Melbourne today, so it happened this morning. Correction, it happened at 12 p.m., so that is the afternoon. And I picked up an item from the Melbourne Collins Street Louis Vuitton in the city. I had been thinking about it for a very long time, looking at pre-loved items on eBay. I just didn't, I didn't get there on eBay, so I decided to go into the store and what you can do is ask the associates there if they have, you know, maybe a display uh, version of the bag you're looking at. So it's sort of pre-patinaed that way, a little bit darker on the leather uh, because it's been the display item or they get you a brand new one. Brand spanking you with bright white leather. Uh, maybe some of you would like that out there. Right now, I don't. I am obsessed with the darker leathers. Let's go ahead and show you this unboxing. So getting straight into it, here is the shopping bag. The sales associate's name was Stephanie. She was incredibly helpful, lovely, lovely lady. And she packed this up for me in a beautiful box so I couldn't say no. And here is the massive box it comes in. It's the double lid box. It's their thinner box. So you can see it there. It has the leather cording around it and sliding it off. There we have the top lid and here it is in the box. Just bringing it in closer, there is the receipt in the little brown card. They popped it in here. There it is from Stephanie. Here in the dust bag is my beautiful new item which is the ta -da, Syracuse MM in the Damier Azure print. This is a divine bag. This is just a gorgeous bag. I never ever thought I would probably purchase a full Azure handbag. I have my six ring agenda in Azure, which you saw in my last collection video, but this is my first handbag in Demi Azure. I fell in love with this bag after I saw X-Ray Gigi's uh, proportion video on the PM side. She was explaining to you the length of the strap when it's in its crossbody position and how much the drop is. It was a brilliant video. Check it out. I'll pop it in the link below. She is just a good friend of mine on YouTube. Her reviews are absolutely impeccable. She's so accurate with all the stuff and the information she gives you. And I just fell in love with this bag uh, on her review of the PM. I did know I wanted the MM simply because I do have a lot more stuff for my store and my business that I run around daily needing. So up close here you can see it is a crossbody bag. I will show you the drop in a second. But it has this absolutely divine pleating on the front here and on the back either side. I think that the pleating bags are so popular because actually what it is is the canvas is so much softer than a speedy or a never full. They're lined, so there's lining and there's a divider, so it's really soft and it just sags and has a beautiful, beautiful shape. This bag does not have any feet. It's not particularly a worry to me because I don't set my bags down on the ground anyway. I always have a handbag holder. The GM did have the lining with the Vichetta leather with the four studs there to set your bag down. But honestly, I just would never set 
a Louis Vuitton bag down anyway, but especially an azure please. This actually does grab color transfer quite um, a lot with new jeans, new black jeans or blue jeans. It can pick up the color transfer off the dye there. So up close there, you can see firstly on the front Vichetta piece, it's got the tab zipper pull with Louis Vuitton on the front, Louis Vuitton on the back. And then we have all of the golden brass hardware with the signature in there. Louis Vuitton engraved in all of the brass hardware. Flip it over there, you can see on the rivet there, it also has the Louis Vuitton engraved in the circular format there. We have Vichetta leather piping all the way around the bag, on the bottom of the bag and coming up the sides. It has a buckle on the Vichetta leather body strap here and it gives you five holes to choose your preference of length around your body. I have this right now on the last hole because I did really get this bag for the intent of a crossbody bag as I didn't have one other than my Eva clutch. As I come inside here, you can see if it's light enough that the interiors are a beautiful cream textile lining. And then there we have the Vachetta leather plaque with Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France, just press stamped on the inside there. If you can see there is two internal pockets, just one and two there. Probably perfect for the phone, keys and items like that. Easy to get to. And then one big large body compartment there to hold all of my goods. Also has a D-ring just here to attach your keys or your key holder, coin purse. So here I have the bag just showing you in front of my kitchen here. This is the drop of this bag, the MM size on the last hole on me. I am a bit curvy. Uh, I'm sure it would drop a little lower than say the hip line on a more petite kind of gal. But it does sit alright for me. It probably will just sit there on my side hip. As I said you can shorten the strap here. Just do that quickly. Pop it back through the two keepers there. And now that is on the first hole up the top here and just have it over your shoulder like so. I assume this would be a good bag maybe in this size for uni as well. If you had small binders you could probably just pop them in there, fit that in there and throw it over your shoulder this way or longer for the crossbody shape. Okay guys, I think that just about does it for my unboxing of my new Syracuse MM in the Damier Azure print, which I got from Melbourne today. We had a lovely family time down there for just one night. Hi to all my family in Melbourne and thank you so much to Stephanie from the Melbourne City Louis Vuitton. She was amazing. So this is my bag. I will get a bit of use out of it, get a bit more patina. Uh, and uh, I'll do a review on it a little bit later for you. Thank you to everyone for all your requests on my Louis Vuitton collection video that I just did. All the requests for the Eva Clutch, the Delightful GM. I've had many different requests. I'm so uh, enthused and excited to do those reviews for you. I will be try and be as thorough as I can explaining just the different details because I understand the process of choosing these bags and at the end of the day it is a lot of money and um, you want to get it right as best you can. I am definitely looking at selling some of my items from that collection. I know some people have picked that up from my uh, collection video. Uh, the two items that I'm definitely going to look at selling is the uh, Lucket bracelet in the monogram and unfortunately I did love it but I think I'm gonna get rid of that baby the denim mini pleaty bag just simply because I don't get enough use out of those items and all of you out there know that I say 
get use out of your items. So those two items are for sale. If you guys are interested, my viewers out there, before I put it on eBay, inbox me and we'll have a chat. I'll let you know uh, what I'm selling them for. I usually do free shipping worldwide, just simply because I know shipping is so expensive. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Much love to everyone out there. Take care, guys. Peace.